I'm here right now. I'm usually not home this early. Um, in the day, I'm usually out the whole day, but I'm actually, I came home a little bit early because I need to set up. As you know, I actually haven't flown my drone in a very, very long time. And the reason I haven't flown my drone in a long time is because there's an update that I need to do and I need a Wi-Fi to do that update and I'm never home to use my Wi-Fi to do the update. But so I came home early to finally do it because I need to do it for today because my friend knows that I do a lot of things with video and he actually asked me to video his proposal right now to his future fiance. Now, I'm not going to show any of that footage, but I'll probably show you b-roll of the scenery around there because that footage is personal but yeah let me show you my backpack real quick look check this out so this is my equipment uh, so this is my wide lens this is the stock lens that came with it this could shoot pretty far got my drone right here which needs to update right now so this is the drone look how small this is man like this is crazy small this is my monitor right this is the dead mouse for my mic, so it could block wind from coming in. The, the size of my dead mouse compared to the drone. <laughs> Look at that. That's crazy. This is the Mavic Pro. It is definitely worth it. I'm going to use this today. Try to get it updated. Other than that... Oh, yeah. And here's the GoPro, as you guys know. I just... I love this. This is amazing. This makes things so much easier in just getting, like, time lapses or footage in general and just trying to get nice shots and everything. And I like it compact and good camera. But let me know what you guys thought of the GoPro. Let me set up. I need to get things ready. I need to head out of here by, man, in 30 minutes. So let's do this. This is so funny. Okay, so right now I am watching um, a vlog right now. Right now, um, as you can see, it's actually updating right now. Right there, it's updating. It's gonna take a little while to update, so I'm just waiting for that. And as it's updating, I'm watching a vlog from Max Tuning. But a few people that I do watch on YouTube is Christian Guzman. I do watch Max Tuning. Do you know what I'm about Max to Tuning do? Right now. Do Check you know it out. what we just did? Do you know what we just did? Well, I'm gonna tell you later because so I do watch like this like um, on my lunch breaks or when I'm driving. I know, not good. When I'm not vlogging, right? Um and yeah, just one of the people I watch and I get a lot of inspiration on how to make my fun my vlogs entertaining, get nice edits, nice sick angles. Doing a time lapse right now. I wonder if I'm gonna get that in the shot. But anyway, um, Look at this beast, man. This tiny, tiny. Yeah, you know what? I, I I just realized that tomorrow is, well, today is New Year's Eve. Tomorrow's New Year's Eve. And kind of crazy because it's the end of the year. And when I think about it, all the things that I d did this year, it's crazy. When you put it all together, everything I did since, to be honest, December. End of November, beginning of December last year, my life has changed so much in the span of a year and two months. I could honestly say, literally, two years ago. All right, this drone is way too loud. Okay, anyway, I'm back. I remember literally just two years ago, I was working at an audiovisual company as an administrative assistant, executive assistant, you know, getting paid 18 bucks an hour in Huntington Beach. And, and I just remember everything I was going through at that moment. I couldn't afford my health insurance. I remember when I could barely afford even just food. Eating out was a rare. Now I eat out every single day and not worry about money, which is kind of crazy. Um, that was rare. Now I can buy whatever I want. Now I'm not saying because I can buy whatever I want and I'm happy, but just looking at the difference from my life two years ago now is insane. And it's all because I put in the effort to learn code and that changed my life and doing YouTube. And to be honest, a year, one year ago, when I started my YouTube channel, man, um, no one even knew who I was. I was just someone trying to up and coming on this. Now I have a YouTube channel. Now I'm sponsored. Now someone's flying me out to Portland, Oregon on January 16th on a Tuesday. Get ready for that. And it's all because I did it. You know, and it's cool because I started my YouTube channel and my coding career pretty much almost the same time. I see both careers like just you know going up 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 and to see that happen at once simply because i just started and I, i'm not gonna say that this happened because i'm better than everyone else and i'm not my youtube channel you know I, okay i'm not gonna lie i think i'm not too bad at shooting with my camera but other than that you know i'm not really good at anything and all i did was just put in the effort to make a difference in my life and that's why i'm here and that's sometimes what it takes you know sometimes to make a difference in your life when it comes to this you just have to do something about it you just have to start and it's not gonna happen and i think because like millennials and people in this age or just for example we have things like what amazon there was amazon right two-day shipping was amazing and then there was amazon prime now and you could get it now within two hours and then you could pay eight bucks to have it shipped to you within an hour and uh, all these things there's postmates there's you know there's uber meals or whatever it's called there's just uber now and all these things that you can do to really just get everything you want right away and i think 
our just generation and just everyone in general is so used to having everything right away. We have extremely fast internet now. We don't, you know, we're unlimited texting if you want, if you can afford that. We have everything we want now. And we're so used to getting everything so fast. And I think people tend to think that it's supposed to happen right away. But man, you gotta be patient. It's like, don't just love, get it. Like, don't just love it when you get there. Becoming a programmer, what I love about it is the ride that you get on, the ride that you, you take, the journey that you have to become a programmer, the hustles, the, the, you know, the letdowns, when you do succeed, when you make something cool, when you finally grasp the syntax of a language and how it works. You know, that is what makes it so fun, not just getting there, right? That, that's fun, I'm not gonna lie, I love what I do in my life now is amazing, but just getting there is what makes it fun too. Don't just enjoy it when you're there, enjoy it while you're getting there, on the way there. You know, document it, make a blog or something, make a YouTube channel. It, it just makes it so much more fun because that the journey to get there is what makes you who you are. Not just being there. Being there isn't what makes you who you are. The journey you take to become who you wanna be, to become who you wish to be, to, become, to reach your dreams, that is what makes you who you are today. And just thinking back in this last year, man, just thinking back in what I did the last, it's insane, the last 12 months, it's, it's, I never thought this would happen. And look at this, I'm 30. I did all of this when I was 29, 28. You know, so like to have this happen simply because I just started in one year, my life has changed tr completely. Right? I never thought that I would ever own a, Mac, a high end MacBook Pro. I never thought that I would ever own a high end what? GoPro, the top of the line, you know, a $1,000 Maverick, right? I, I bought this, you know, I, I never thought I'd have this $1,000 machine. Never thought that, you know, I would have anything. And I'm not saying this is what makes me happy, but, you know, this isn't what I worked for. I didn't work for to own all this technology. That's not what I worked for. I worked hard so I can take care of my family, you know? And to have all this simply because I just started and because I was patient. That's why I'm here. And that's what everyone else needs to do. I think everyone else needs to learn to be patient and you will eventually get there. <sighs> All right, <laughs> let me get back into this, updating everything else and um, get back to the time lapse. And yeah, so let's do this. Now I'm about to head to head to Corona Del Mar. If you guys remember from my very first few videos, I'm actually here with Sid, this Sid, my homie. Uh, we're gonna he's gonna actually take photography of the actual proposal. But again, I'm not showing you any footage. But let's go ahead, let's head to Corona Del Mar and get some Thai food too. All right, see you guys there. Standing on the porch in the night, thinking how we used to be way back in time. In time Barefoot on the grass, open skies I can feel it every time I close my eyes My eyes 